Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm so happy because my machines are back here in my new shop. Here it is. Yes, and I can work. That's very good because we have a lot of work and the customer is still waiting and I'm pretty happy. Machines are back and let's go. Let's check what do Alex here. We have here an EJ257 from a 2006 RSDI. Oh, that is still working. Hello. Yes. They just, they just installed the engine here and then we will check this engine. We, Alex here at the first time that uh, the O2 sensor have a problem because the uh, cable was uh, defect or something like this. They will now deinstall the engine and then we check where was the problem. I think something is wrong with the piston because uh, it runs only on uh, three cylinders and maybe we have a bigger ring gap failure or uh, a damaged piston. Okay, for you, one second. Hello. Uh, hello, welcome back. Uh, okay, let's go here. Here we have the engine. Yesterday we was a little bit in trouble, but today we have the time for full disassembling. Okay, first, what we see here, look at the back here. The engine was deinstalled pretty often. Can you see that? Yeah. They come here with a big tool and try to open it. Um, what we have here for damage? Here we have a standard piston ring failure. Not good on cylinder four. It is a little bit uh, crazy because the engine was already open, uh, have uh, head studs and got a new cylinder head. Here is a um, new head, that's the old head. The old head have here some cracks and yeah, it's a little bit crazy because we don't know what happened here exactly, but we have from disassembling the engine uh, damage at the O2 sensor here at the top and you see it is uh, not straight. This failure here uh, can bring a, a damage like this and the turbo has a big crack here on the exercise. You see at the wheel the engine running pretty hot with not enough fuel. What we have for problems? We have a problem that we got, don't get this uh, stuck out of the head because the street is broken or something like this. But it's no problem, we can bore it out and it got a bigger street with our bolts. Um, I don't know, you know our new bolts, wait, or studs. That are our old model, good studs too, but this one here is our upgrade one. It got a coating. Here we have uh, an insert for Nimbus and um, that are pretty good studs. It's from our partner NG Motorsports and we have now this in stock. It has the main bearings looks not good too because in the oil was some particles and you see it here. They're running through the bearing and damage the bearing so the crankshaft is broken too we have here bigger scratches and we still need a new one okay have have you uh, show them the crack from the turbo mm -hmm. yeah den habe ich schon geil gezeigt schön licht rein yeah right there's a fat crack here and so we need a new turbo we need 
maybe one new head. Crankshaft rods I have to check and measure it. We have to bore and tone these cylinders. We need our headstock conversion. Yes. Check the main journal and yeah, here are some broken parts like the here this wheel. I think another one, I don't know where it is. And then we can build everything together. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, let's just check the diameter of the of the cylinder. Here we have some damage on cylinder four. Uh, zero would be 99.75. So we have here something like 99.57 millimeters. So it is 700 millimeters too big. It is no problem, we can bore and hone it and then it's okay. Okay, I think in the next steps we will disassemble the full heads and check them if the waveguides are okay and the waves and you know, the wave seats. Yes, I think that was it for today. Um, I said thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we see you in the next video. Ciao. A nice close deck conversion. That works good. Yeah. Let's let's us now some upshit the the Dackel film. Panacha. Panacha. Ciao.